So maybe you're gonna have a baby soon or maybe you've already had your baby and you're thinking about cloth diapering but you're not exactly sure where to start. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to affordably cloth diaper your newborn baby. All right, so jumping in. So the main common question that I see a lot with cloth diapers is what do you do with the poop? What do you do with it? Especially if you're out and about, what do you do with the poop? So we have these things called diaper pails. I just purchased a trash can from Walmart and that acts as my diaper pail. You put something called a wet bag in there, kind of like a trash bag, except it's cloth and it's designed to house your diapers and it's gonna hold that smell in. So you're not gonna have a smelly house from your diapers, don't worry about that. That wet bag is designed to hold all of that in. So let's say your baby poops, what do you do with it? So what you can do and what I highly recommend doing is purchasing a diaper sprayer from Amazon. I wanna say the one that I purchased was about $20. Don't worry, I'm gonna leave everything linked below but you will definitely need a diaper sprayer that hooks up to your toilet. It took my husband all of five minutes to do, so it's super easy and super convenient to have. So what you would do is you would spray the poop off of the diaper with that diaper sprayer and wring it out, toss it into your pail, forget about it until wash day. However, for newborns, as long as they are breastfed or formula fed, you do not need to spray their diapers off because their poop is water soluble, which is awesome. So until they start eating baby food or cereal, you don't need to worry about spraying that diaper off. It can go directly into the pail, just like a pee diaper. So let's say you're out at Walmart and your baby poops. What do you do? So we have these things here called a travel wet bag. Now this specific one that I have is the Demero brand. It's spelled D-A-M-E-R-O. And this came off of Amazon. Now, I just want to say that these bags are perfect not just for diapers, but if you have toddlers or just kids in general and they get wet clothes while you're out or they mess up their clothes, you can just stick them right in this bag. Um, so basically what you would do with a poopy diaper is you would take it off your baby just like you would a disposable, toss it into here until you get home. When you get home, toss it into your pail and then forget about it until wash day. And the really cool thing about this wet bag is that it's double zippered. So you got two separate compartments here. And I like to keep two of these. I have, I have a blue one and then I have this green one. So if one's dirty, I still have an extra that I can keep in my diaper bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the diapers. So there are many options out there. There are so many styles so many different options and it can be overwhelming and you just kind of have to find what works for you every baby is different so different styles may work for you but I'm just gonna share with you what we used and what worked for us now this method is also the most affordable way so I started cloth diapering when my second son came along and he was about a week old when we introduced the cloth diapers to him and we actually started out with these and this is the thx diaper now this is a knockoff of the little joeys um, they are very similar as a matter of fact i can't find anything different um, but it has the umbilical snap down so that it holds the diaper away from your baby's umbilical cord so you don't have to worry about that rubbing up against that and irritating that. Um, but the cool thing about this diaper is it's just like a disposable. Um, you take it off and put it on just like a disposable except it snaps. Um, now the downside to these is that my son outgrew these very quickly. The absorbency was not very well with them because he was a heavy wetter and that's one thing that you chance with a baby that you don't know if it's going to be a heavy wetter or a light wetter. You just kind of have to find what works. And these did not work for us very long. It was about a week or two and he was completely outgrown out of them. Absorbency and size. Let me tell you what did work for us. So after those, I switched to, you might know this as the grandma method, but like I said, this is the most affordable way to cloth diapers successfully. I just used cotton prefolds. Now, this is the Clothies brand, and to me, they're the best. I've used other prefolds before, and they just didn't work as good. 
but the cloth is brand you can find on greenmountaindiapers.com and they have them color coded by size. As you can see, this is the red edge and this is the medium. Now, I think the newborn is actually the orange edge, but they have a chart on there that you can look and see your baby's weight and it will tell you exactly what size you need to purchase. So I would recommend that you buy two dozen of these. Um, they come in packs of 12, so that would be two packs that you would need to purchase. Now, I really like using prefolds because number one, you don't have to have a special wash routine for them. They're just cotton. You can wash them however. The only thing I don't recommend using is bleach in them because it will break them down fast. Um, they are cotton. so. I would avoid bleach when I can. I do use bleach occasionally um, just to make sure they're getting clean. Um, but for the most part, I just use regular detergent and that's that. Also, whenever you purchase these, they're gonna come flat. They're, gonna, they're not gonna have these quilts in them. So that might be a little off, but I promise you after you wash them a few times, they're gonna start to quilt up like this. And that's where your absorbency comes in. The more you wash them, the more absorbent they become. So how do you use these? Okay, so what I do is you can tri-fold it like that, lay it in your cover, put it on your baby. Very simple, three layers of absorbency. Or, this is the method that I used when my baby was very tiny, is I folded it like a diaper. So that's tri-folding and then kind of butterfly the back is what I like to call it and then you just put it on your baby like a disposable. What do you fasten these with? So back in the day and a lot of moms nowadays still use pins but I personally didn't like the thought of pins and if there was another option out there I wanted to go with it and so what I used was these little things here and they're called snappies. They're shaped like a T and they have these little teeth on them that grip onto the cotton and hold it onto your baby. So you would, you would put that on each side of the diaper and then you're going to pull down the bottom and that is going to grip it all together nicely. And then what you would do is put your cover over it and there you go. So another option that I have for you, and this is a very inexpensive way to cloth diaper your newborn, is to go to Walmart and purchase these tea towels they're just one big old sheet of cotton and you can find these in the dish rag section and you could do them just like a pre-fold you could fold them into a square like i've done here and then tri-fold lay it into your diaper or you could do the other method that i talked about where you fold it like a diaper butterfly the back and put your snappy on. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the covers. Um, the covers that I'm gonna share with you are my favorites. Uh, that I've never had any leaking issues whatsoever with these. Um, so the first one I'm gonna show you is the Thirsties cover. Now, the this cover has multiple snaps to where this cover will grow with your baby. As you can see, they unsnap in the middle. As you can see, they've got a row of snaps across the top so that you can adjust it um, exactly how it needs to fit your baby in the waist. And it also has snaps in the middle to where you can adjust the rise. So if you need the legs to be a little bit tighter, um, you can adjust that and it will make those legs just a little bit tighter um, so that you don't have any leaks. Now for a newborn, I recommend you go ahead and get the size one. That is the smaller one and then as your baby grows, um, you will eventually need to purchase the size two, which is what this one is. So that was the Thirsties. Thirsties had some really super cute prints too. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the flip cover. This is a really good one also. And this one is actually made by Bum Genius. Um, but it also has the snaps across the top, except they are doubled. They're double snap. They also have the snaps in the middle to where you can adjust the rise on there. So the thing that I like about this cover is that your diaper will actually fit. It's got like little pockets here where your diaper will fit under that and you don't have to worry about 
your diaper um, wicking moisture onto your baby's clothes. It will stay nice and tucked under that little pocket there. So that's what I like about that cover. I would recommend you buy is about two to three of these covers. Um, these can actually be used for more than one diaper change. So that reduces the amount of diapers that you would need to buy. So what you would do is if your baby just pees, you would just take the cotton prefold out, wipe this clean, lay it out to dry, and put a clean cover on with a new cotton prefold. Now if your baby poops and it's explosive and it gets all over the cover, then you would obviously need to go ahead and throw that in the pail. And I will use mine for about two to three changes and then it goes into the pail. Now let's talk about um, a problem that you may run into with using cotton. Your baby may feel wet. Uh, between diaper changes and maybe more irritable. And so what I like to do is I use these things here called fleece liners. You can also find these on Green Mountain Diapers. And basically what you do is you would lay this on top of the cotton. So it's gonna fit between your baby um, and the cotton and it's gonna wick away all of that moisture and your baby's gonna feel dry in between diaper changes. So let's go ahead and talk quickly about wipes. So what do you do for wipes? So you could use disposable wipes. However, I found that it was easier to go ahead and use cloth wipes with cloth diapers. They just go hand in hand. What I did is I went to Walmart and I just purchased these little uh, baby washcloths. They work perfect as wipes. And what I do is if I'm at home, I will just wet them under the faucet as needed, wring them out, and wipe the baby off that way. Now if I'm out and I don't have access to water, what I do is I keep a spray bottle in my diaper bag filled with water and I can just spray the wipe as needed and use it that way. Now lastly I want to talk about diaper cream. So when you're using cloth diapers you can't really use A and D and Desitin and things like that because they are petroleum based and they eventually will build up on your diapers and cause them to repel and we don't want that because then you're going to have to strip your diapers a lot. Um, and like I said we don't want to have to do that and so what I do is I just use coconut oil. I bought a jar of it and I just put a little bit in this little jar here. This is made by a ball and this is actually a baby food jar that I purchased from Walmart. It's got the screw on lid and I just put a little bit of coconut oil in that and that's what I keep in my diaper bag and use for him when he has a little bit of a rash. I'm going to link everything down below so that you can check that out and I hope that this video was helpful to you if you're thinking about cloth diapering and I hope that it was not overwhelming or confusing. But if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to leave them down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.